Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can fix blurry video in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If you're using the free version in DaVinci Resolve and you want to add some sharpness from the effects library, you won't be able because this is an effect that is only available in the studio version. So you want to go to the color page, you can click on this icon, which is the blurness and in the radius values, you can either increase or decrease it. If you pull it to the upper side, it will blur the video and if you pull it down, it will sharpen the whole video. I'm gonna use the values of approximately 0.40 and that is because I don't want to overdo the job and make it uglier. And if you want to sharpen just a part of the video, you can click on this icon and you can create a mask on the places which you want to specifically sharpen on the video. In this example, we're gonna use this tool and we're gonna draw a mask over his eyes to make it more like in focus. The goal here is to make them pop a tiny bit. After you successfully drawn your mask, you can go back to the sharpen tool, which is right here. You can zoom in your footage and you can reduce or increase the values of blurness or sharpness depending on your liking. Right now it's blurred and right now it's sharpened. I'm gonna increase the amount of radius to about 0.41. I think that's looking natural. Also on the right side you can click on your node right here so you can disable and enable the effect so you can see the difference. Also if you are working with a footage that is not steady, that the camera is always moving, luckily in the Ventures Off you can use the tracker. So you want to go in the beginning of your clip, you want to go in the tracker which is right here then make sure your timeline playhead is in the beginning and then in the tracker panel you can press the play button which is located right here and the winter is off it will scan the footage all the way until the end and correcting the position of the mask that you're having on that specific node i'm also having a bonus tip here so if you want to make your character pop even more right click on your node add node add node serial and that way not only that you can use the sharpness but also you can use the blurness in your advantage. So while your second node is highlighted, you can go on the window icon again, and then this time we're gonna select this circle. You can readjust the size of that circle by pulling the outer side points of that, and as well the amount of softness. I'm placing this mask over my character. In this case, I'm gonna skip the tracking part. I'm just gonna increase the amount of softness by pulling this corner. And the goal for this second note is to have a blurry background behind the character. So you want to click on the blur icon and this time we're gonna increase the values of the radius. As you see if they're up it's going to be blurry. And for now I'm gonna leave it on values of 0.79. As you can see now it looks blurry inside the mask. But as soon as you click in here which is the invert button everything around that mask is gonna be blurry. Now you can click back on the blurry icon and then you can readjust the amount of blurness you want to add. So I'm gonna reduce a tiny bit the blurness because I don't want to be oversaturated. I'm going back to the edit tab and I'm adding the original clip over my edited clip in the timeline. And that's because I want you to see the difference. I'm gonna disable now the first one and you can see the edited one. And on the edited one, we have sharpened his eyes and we have blurred the outer side of his body, which is the background. I also recommend you watching this video right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.